they are coming. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol NIO NEO. There's a lot going on, a lot of updates that I want to cover and make sure that you guys are ready for next year. And we're going to see some price predictions. And I'm going to give you guys the reasons why I'm predicting those prices for, for next year. So I think NEO is actually right now positioning itself to explode in 2021. But I just do want to say that I want to show you and explain to you why I think we're going to go that route and so and beside that there's also some really massive news that just came out that we knew that i want to share which is you guys um before we get into next year but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so you guys know very well that it's no surprise you that i'm bullish on neo i have uh for a long time now and i think this company is currently on the value again that's my personal belief um neo recently has actually taken a nose dive we know why because the chinese government has been cracking down on chinese companies for some reason if you guys can see what happened to alibaba the other day after they opened up the antitrust investigation the stock dropped i think they're sitting now at about 220 dollars that's crazy that's a stock that was trading over 300 dollars so neo is no exemption the chinese government is actually uh, really pounding down some of these stocks and for companies that are reputable like that when they pound these companies down it's an opportunity for us to buy low and then hope that things will turn around and then we can ride it out so when it comes to neo a lot has been going on uh, again like i said neo uh, missed their neo day which is supposed to be in december because of covid the neo day got moved to uh, january of 2021 so a lot is happening there and they have a ton of uh, information they're going to share on that neo day which um is some of it i'm going to cover here with you guys so you guys are aware um again neo is this electric uh car manufacturing out of china presumably they're trying to be the tesla of china trying to compete with tesla and um they are doing some great things even though we're not really a lot of people are not talking about them uh just from a design perspective uh, from a business model perspective it's a to me it's a solid company and i think they still have a massive um, opportunity for growth so the, the first news i want to bring to you guys about neo is the fact that neo has actually reached um, a deal to to build a hundred ev charging battery swap station in china Again, to me, this is this is massive news. Um, they have actually gone into you know a deal with a Chinese state-owned electric utility uh, uh, grid to build a hundred uh, charging stations across China, um, going into partnership with Chinese um, uh, government or Chinese uh, utility grid company. It's it's a good thing. Uh, it means that the government actually is seeing uh, a good opportunity here. But the only thing that I don't like is just the the fact that the government is actually getting their hands into this company and usually when Ch the chinese government is, is trying to infiltrate companies like this they start dictating the direction of that company which i don't really like so we'll see how this pans out but again just from uh, from a perspective of the company expanding and growing this is great news and you guys know neo has one business model that i really really like um you know having really cover that here but a lot of people are not even talking about it which i think it's just a disservice to the company neo has this thing called bass battery as a service this is a very very key uh play in their in their business model that people don't talk about battery as a service basically you buy the car you don't really buy the battery right so you can buy uh, the car and just rent the battery you go to a battery station a battery swap station and under three minutes they will take out your battery that is not charged and replace it with a fully charged battery and you can drive out imagine going to a gas station i don't think like we put in gas regular gasoline your car takes more than three minutes with this it takes under three minutes you pull up they pull out the old battery replace it with the new battery and you, you're out and you, you're gone. And I think this is a brilliant idea that it's not really being talked about. Um, and I think it's a disservice to Neo. And so when I see stuff like this, I think Neo is really uh, positioning themselves to be a key player um, in this space. And, and Neo has also uh, increased what they call mobile charging. So if you are driving somewhere out in, you know, let's say in the country and you run out of battery, you can actually call their mobile charging station. They would come to you. 
and charge your, your, your vehicle right on the spot and you can drive so you don't have to do a tow. Um, again, these are services that Neo is offering that I don't see with other uh, uh, companies doing it right now. So I think, again, to me, this is brilliant. So again, look at the experience that they're, they're providing here, like this battery swap under three minutes, I think is brilliant. They have on, on, on a 24 seven, um, you know, roadside assistance where they can come and charge your batteries for you. I mean, most companies, again, are not offering this kind of service. You have to find a charging station or uh, install one at your house. So even with this, you don't really have to have a charging station at your house because they can bring that mobile charging to you. Like see here and the parking lot, you run out of battery, you call their mobile charging station. And the beauty about this, again, um, the CEO uh, was talking about the fact that they are expanding this mobile charging station to other electric vehicles, not just Neo cars. So you can see like Lee Auto can get, uh, you know, this service from, from Neo. I think this is brilliant. So they, they're going beyond just uh, building cars. They're going now beyond. They're actually expanding into uh, providing a service to other EV companies. Speaking of a business model that is really, really built to succeed and win, the fact that they're not being selfish, they're not just saying this is only for neo cars. Like, hey, we build this technology, you guys can leverage it, we make money, you guys make money. It's a win win for everybody. I'm, I'm loving what neo is doing here, guys. Again, these are little things that when I see in the, in the pathway or the future of neo, I think this company is poised to do some great things um, in, in, the, in the future, and I, I think it's going to be interesting. Interesting. Again, Neo Day is coming up on January 9th. That's the, the main event for Neo. I suppose, it, like I said, it was supposed to be in December, but COVID pushed it to January 9th. And here is uh, what I want you guys to be aware of as it comes. Neo plan to release their new sedan. Um, see if I can find some pictures here. So this is it right here. Neo plan to release their new sedan. This is called the ET8, which is it's going to be competing with. Tesla. So if you look at the designs here, I mean these guys are these guys are brilliant as far as design goes. Um, look at that. That's a beautiful looking sedan. Um, this is the issue that I have with Tesla. Uh, Tesla so far the designs I'm not really really sold because if you look at the Tesla Model Y, I'm just like why would you design something like that? The Model Y to me is like the worst design Tesla has ever put out there. That to me, that's the knock on Tesla I don't really like. They need to go back on the drawing board and come out with some really slick looking vehicles. I mean, the, the, the fact that it's electric is good, but dude, like you guys need to do something with that design. The Model Y to me is not a good looking car. So you guys need to work on that. So Neo is putting out this new uh, sedan to compete with Tesla in, in, in Asia. And then the other thing that Neo is actually doing right now that I think it's gonna be uh, huge for them is the fact that they plan on launching in Europe as well. So they now they're moving out of the continent of Asia, they're moving now into Europe. That's one step away from start going uh, at global. And the next thing you know, they're gonna make it to America, to South America, and they're gonna be all over the place. So I think to me, this is huge. Um, and then last but not the least, uh, the other thing that you mentioned about uh, Neo Day is that they're gonna release a new battery that's gonna really increase um, you know the range of their cars. So right now, they think the new battery is probably going to give them a range up to about 900 kilometers. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure they're working on new technology every day to kind of improve. So again, guys, Neo is doing some great things. They are uh, really working on getting their technology out there, expanding their business model, and you know, produce g giving new models for cars, new batteries, new services like their battery as a service. Uh, the, the roadside charging station where they're providing charging to other EV cars in China and hopefully across the globe. I think this company is positioning itself to make some massive, massive move in 2021. And again, my price prediction um, as to when I'm doing this video right now was sitting with Neo sitting somewhere at about $45. Again, we know that it's been a crazy year. Um, again, the, the last month alone, Neo is down now about 10 or 11%. And the reason, again, like I said, is because of what is happening in China with the Chinese government uh, going and doing all these antitrust and all these different things. As soon as this is settled down, you're going to see Neo is going to pop. 2021, Neo is going to break $100. That is 
in my personal prediction so if you haven't already invested in neo this dip right now is where you can start building a position and again when i say building a position that means you can start buying shares but i don't want you to go out and just buy everything at once so buy 10 15 and see how the market is moving and then you keep adding to your position if you if you want to get into neo but again guys always do your own research before you jump into stocks like this so again my 2021 prediction is that neo is going to crack a hundred dollars and i'm very i'm still very bullish on this on this stock so a lot is going on with neo um i think that the company is positioning itself to be the tesla of asia and if not it's probably even going to beat tesla in my, in my opinion because of the different services that they're offering not just they're going beyond just uh building electric cars and actually expanding and bringing in the other um, electric uh, car manufacturers providing services that would help them um, as well so i think to me that is brilliant so look forward to neo day um january 9 uh, they're going to unveil new battery again new cars uh, a new sedan that would definitely compete with tesla because right now they've been doing suvs so a sedan will kind of change their their market and expand them into new spaces so i think this is this is brilliant so again guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this what's your take on neo do you see neo again as i'm predicting cracking that 100 dollar uh price point i think it's going to do it so let me know what you think do you currently own neo in your portfolio and if yes what's your game plan do you plan on holding do you plan on selling some and taking some profit or what's your what's your plan here again let me know in the comment section and if you're new to the channel guys we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you're looking to get started with investing we will still doing a promotion right now if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get four free stocks to get you started links in the description below it does help me continue to make content here on the channel and as always guys always do your homework do your research don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated